No cool to call this morning. Country style. So, uh, so we haven't looked at yesterday, and um, they're, they're saying we had, need a whole new unit, that we had a couple of fried. At first they said we needed, let me, let me show you what they're saying. Okay. All right, folks, 83 degrees in here. So, folks said they need a new unit. Mm -hmm. Yesterday when I got up, okay. I felt like it was very warm. Okay. So I just moved in a, like a month ago. Okay. I thought maybe the people before me had it set for Sunday mornings to be 85. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, well, that's not right. You know, didn't think much of it. Was trying to put it down to 76 is where I tried to keep it. Mm -hmm. And went off to church, came back, and it was like 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, no, that's something's wrong that's never happened okay. and um, that's when I called someone out to come look at it they said that oh you have burnt wires a burnt wire um, so they changed that and then um, burnt wire where on the compressor or where? Uh, from the contactor can I read it? yeah let me see, found outside unit not coming on, did not find, did find some burnt wires that got disconnected from the contact. Was able to repair the wires, turn the system on, and only the outside fan came on by the compressor. Felt that the compressor was hot and the rotors were locked. We press it down and more, more a bit. Then turn the system on again. Then the compressor came on but was not pumping right and amp was working. Extremely high, pretty hard start to get on it. And it, excuse me, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And it did the same thing. It's a 2004 condensing unit, and the core is R22. Talk to the homeowner about replacing. Uh, right customer, so, I don't want okay, to. Okay, but so here's the deal. Mm -hmm. So um, I have family coming in, and I have more family coming in, and I have an, an elderly aunt. Mm -hmm. They knew that. And they knew I was desperate, um, so they wanted to replace the whole unit. So the technician says it's going to be three to six thousand um, dollars. And then I said, when could that be done? You know, and he's like, well, let me call my boss. He calls his boss, and he goes, well, we can do it today for nine thousand dollars. So I kind of felt like I was being. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And. and so I said, well, let me call someone else. And, mm -hmm. you know, I got a different estimate for less than that. Mm -hmm. I, so I don't know if someone was playing on my vulnerability because mm -hmm. I had family coming in and I have an aunt today that's mm -hmm. elderly. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. And I thought, and then I, I remembered, I have a home warranty. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? You know, mm -hmm. so. Well, let me see what I can do. Okay. Because uh, they did a lot of work to it. But they added a lot of stuff to it. Right. Uh, and so that's so they, why... Did they leave the unit off or... It, I don't know what they did, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let me take a look at it and we'll see okay. what Okay, and I, that's what I, I thought. Mm -hmm. I have to go with my home warranty yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Let's see what we can do, okay? Uh, okay, How do I get to the inside uh, unit first? I want to yeah. look at the... Uh, okay, so that's up in the attic. Yeah, first. Let me grab it. I'm going to go take a peek in there for I'm going to take some pictures. Okay, so I'm going to do my own diagnosis and we're going to... No, and that, right. And I, I don't know anything about anything, so I, that's why I just figured, let me just show you what was right. on the receipt. Okay. And then um, I've got the animals put away, mm -hmm. so, okay. um, so you can open uh, okay. yours. Okay, great, got that. And then, and then outside, you can look right it. here, okay. we'll open this. Okay. And then the board right there. Okay. So I guess you heard the rundown. It's a rotor lock compressor. All right, and the screen. Let's see here. 2004. It is R22. So if this unit is out, I do recommend replacing it. I'm trying to see. I'm my case. I'm seeing 
get some type of temporary cooling because either way, yeah, it needs new disconnect and everything. Little disconnect problem out. Oh no, they I see you gotta be careful folks. That disconnect is bypass. Gauges I've seen what I can do. Maybe get some temporary cooling or something. She should have jumped on that 9,000 though, but let's see what the warranty company say. Maybe they ain't saved some money, but should have jumped on that three. They most gonna play half of the system for three thousand. He first quote them three to six thousand. All right, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna hook some gauges up to it. All right, like I said, we're just gonna do our own little diagnosis on it first. Gonna act like we start from scratch and we didn't really hear any of that. So we act like we just come to the unit, no cooling. We're gonna check my pressures. He did a lot. He had a hard start kit. Uh, a lot of time, man. Why those technicians want to get the benefit out of that? I ain't the technician like to make videos and try to see another company trying to get over on a homeowner. They probably tell them the truth. Need a new unit. And it do cost about ten thousand. All right. So this is our pressures right here. This R22. We can go ahead and change that. But I'm really just checking pressure, so I'm really not concerned about. Super heat sub cooling right now. But, but I know come behind some of these technicians, a lot of them don't know what they're doing though. You know what I'm saying? But uh from their writing, they sound like they know what they were doing. Or maybe put a hard stock kit on here and take it back off. See the burnt wires he's talking about. So let's check power. Or should we just go ahead and turn it on first? That's the original cap, it looks like. I'm gonna check that cap. Not the original, but let's see it rusty. Been in there for a minute, so I'm gonna make sure that capacitor good. We know that disconnect, so we gotta find the breaker, folks. Take a peek at the air handle, see what it looks like up here before we turn everything on. So that's a little golf cart door, garage. I don't know what none of this stuff is, folks. And Ronnie get a lot of light. Man, that's a huge attic. 
got long. I think that's standby mode. That furnace look decent. I think all they need is a coil. Plenum look good. A coil and a condenser unit. Slab coil condenser unit. But uh, let's go take a look at the thermostat. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I wanna check amps. But I do want to check, uh, before we do that, I want to check this cap. Turn it on, I don't hear that blower though. The dancer just kicked on though. Let it run for a little while. This is R22. I'm gonna let it run just see what it do. Okay. See if it go real low. Okay, just stay around that 80 something range. Right good. She might be right. 19 amps. Do the thing, boss. If you draw. Sound good. This thing rated for 21 amps. Man, this thing blowing some good warm air. Man, I think they tried to get over on it, y'all. Probably the only thing wrong with it was that burn wire. How long did they charge for that hard start kit? I'm gonna tell you, it's not on here. Not over amping, though. Let that run for a little while, folks. Hey, it's running good right now. Pressing looking good. Hope we ain't got no scam artists out here, folks. But sometimes that's all you get is a you know, one burn wire. They charge. His, his invoice said he put hard star kit on here and everything. Probably burn wire to the fan. Off on the turn of overload. Cool the unit down. Fix the wire. Be good to go. 
The press is up perfect. Freaking scam artists. Burn wire, try to get the lady for $9,000 because they know she's vulnerable. Try to get her for $9,000. They know they got an elderly in here. Came in out on the Sunday. Did not stall a hard star kit. Right, we're going to go in the attic door and look around. We're going to, uh, as long as I ain't over amping, next. That compressor sound good. Old train roto. Um, all right, thank you. That's good, dude. Check sub cooling. We're gonna get my flash back. But no, no problem at all. I'm sorry. Sorry, just showing off the house. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful house. I like this right here. Starting to supply temp. Yeah, it sounds like she used her intuition. She was right. All right, folks, so we're gonna get a supply air temp. We're gonna get, get a supply and return. Fix the water. Oh, as you can see, that's 59. Like I said, they had to disconnect off, so they didn't have any cooling all weekend. So it's kind of warm in the house. Let's see, 77. Yeah, so a 77 return. I think I had like 85 at the stack, so it's, so it's kind of warm, warm in the house. But as you can see, it's cooling, cooling well. Like I say, because once the house starts cooling down, this temperature is going to get lower. Yeah, so we got 77 and 59. That's 18 degree uh, temperature differential. So uh, it's been running about 20 minutes now. All right, folks. Hey, we got a busy day today. We on to the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, y'all quit scamming these folks out here, man. It's a numbers game. You're going to get your sales. Just go out here and do the work. You'll get it. We're trying to beat people. We out. Peace. All right. So you gotta think about this overall system amp. Just the fan and the uh, capacitor with a fan motor and a compressor combined, 18 amps. I was only checking compressor. The only problem only drawing about 17 amps. Ooh,
start going stock some but uh yeah man this thing this thing running good running good running good running good i don't know exactly which one to compress but see that stand right there 1.1.6 1.6 on the fan. So overall system, it's a 18. So you do 1.6, take away 18. That's your compressor amps. Again, thanks for watching. You like this thermostat? This is 75, is that a good setting? I mean, it's fine. I'm saying, do, do, you, like this, do you like this style of thermostat or do you want to upgrade this thermostat? Uh, or do you like this style here? Oh, no, I don't like this style at all. You don't like this style? No. Like, uh, so I have a Honeywell thermostat that's like $200. Okay. So the warning company, since it's working, they, they won't cover this part. But if you want to upgrade, I know you just bought the home. And I have a Wi-Fi thermostat called Nest thermostat. It's about $400. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do you think? Uh, I mean, do you like technologies? Do you want to control it with your phone? or? You, Want to set the set with visitor. Uh, mm. So, if if I get the Wi-Fi, the cost for me today is just four hundred dollars. Plus the deductible. I think, I think you'll deduct what seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay, so four seventy-five. Yeah. Um, and but the air is fine. The air is fine. Uh, uh, yeah, the air is fine. I, I'm sorry you had to uh, go through that. Uh, it's cooling great. Uh, I do have all the information, so if all that fails, give me a call. I won't have to come back out. I'll just replace the condenser on the outside, but it's cooling good. Okay, okay. So, um, I, uh, you, you want to I, uh, but I, I can't work this one. Oh. Yeah, I hate these. I don't read why I'm asking, because I hate these. I'm not trying to say No, I hate anything. it, too. Yeah, I, right, they, I hate they, it, they, too. They, they, they try to follow the schedule. These things. It, it is an upgrade. Huh? I mean, no, these, so, these, yeah. these, these came out in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know how to work yeah, it. Yeah, I hate them. Yeah. I, I, hate them. Um, I, would, I really yeah. would like to be able to adjust it from my phone. Okay, so I, I get you the next time. Yeah. Okay. It, yes. Okay, I got please. one in my truck. Oh, good. Okay. The old lady nearly scammed out of 9000 They're going to take the poor old lady for $9,000. Same, same, same. Hey, y'all technicians out there, y'all companies out there, y'all got to remember, man, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. Concentrate on just trying to get a lot of customers, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to run across some units that's going to need to be replaced eventually. Because every, maybe 10, I, and I know this is an older system, it's 20 years old, it can be upgraded, but if a wire can be fixed, you don't have to leave the disconnect off to get the elderly people some air, man. Even with the electricity bill, they're running the portable units or whatever. Come on. Like I say, it's a numbers game. Uh, a lot of times I root for people. Hey, I hope it's just a capacitor. You know what I'm saying? Most times, nine times a 10, when I come to a unit, but if it's a leak in the system, if the unit was low or something like that, R22, go ahead and replace or offer them an upgrade. For option, at least both options. Uh, this lady here, she, she may want to upgrade her system, you know, in the future. Say, hey ma'am, it's 20 years old. Go ahead and fix it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and send you a quote. And, uh, and a lot of times, they'll call you back next week. Yeah, I don't want, I'm gonna have family. I don't want it to go down, you know, in the middle of such and such and go ahead and approve it. But when you try to pressure people like that, man, it ain't gonna make you look bad. But I'm, I, I seen the invoice, I'm not gonna put the company name out there like that, but. It's a shame, 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 shame. We out here working hard, long nights, long days. We got people out here doing this, man. This, this is a nice unit, look. Trying to furnish, and then trying to sell, we're trying to sell them, uh, like that furnace, look. And then when they come, and when they come and do a retro fit on these things, uh, it don't look as good as this install. So, like I say, nine thousand. 
especially if it was emergency, they want they want her to have air. Uh, for emergency, you ain't got to replace this furnace. Put her new coil up in here. And this probably rated for, four, yeah, it's rated for 410A. There's no signs of a leak, obviously. Got plenty of refrigerant if you wanted to. You can flush this system out because it's rated for 410A and R22. Put a new condenser out there. Flush it out with RX11. Put a new condenser out there. This thing nice. Got a sight glass. It's not flashing. Shoot. I'll try to get another 20 years out of this young You know what I'm saying? Suction line sweating good. Yeah, yeah man. I'm try to get a few more years out of this unit, folk. I checked it. I'm, I'm gonna show you the supply temperature too. I'm gonna go get my temperature probe. I'll show you this so thing cool. Okay. Right back. Okay. Yeah, and you just follow the direction. Okay, perfect. Okay, right now we're just going to cancel, yeah. but like I say, if I want to go back out, uh -huh. go done. Okay. We're going to go to menu again, we're going to go to setting. Okay, go that's how I go in there. I think Got that's it. the last one. Yeah. Or somewhere up in there. It's an alphabetic order. Okay, yeah. I'm going to hit the post, so. Right there, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. If you have any questions, you can call us up. Okay. Yeah. This is great. Oh. Yes, it is.